G'day and welcome to episode 68 and our last episode for Kyrgyzstan. In the last episode, we travelled down the Naran River and into the rolling green hills outside Osh. In this episode, we continue on the Pamir Highway south, making another climb to an international border over 4,000 metres. This time though, it's to Tajikistan. It is the most beautiful day today and I was just sitting here enjoying some sunshine, having a cuppa. And we got some visitors. <laughs> <laughs> they're like the funniest sheep they've got these like we started noticing them in Pakistan and they've got like this really fat bum I think it's actually all just fat and then when they walk it's like a, a ghetto booty it just wobbles behind them <laughs> there's so many they're really noisy so when um, when you pull the roof down on these there's a piece of elastic um, band which runs around the canvas which pulls the canvas in when you pull the roof down but what we've noticed is that on the corners here, um, on the inside, you'll be able to see. So here. Is that it? It must be the uh, elastic must move when um, when we're driving, and it's actually starting to wear through the canvas, which could be obviously problematic. So I've got um, some repair tape here, which I'm going to put on the canvas just to create a, another layer. And then um, the last thing we want is any. Um, tears or holes in the canvas and any water getting in that's our bedroom <laughs> that's another one of my projects for today <laughs> enjoying the sunshine getting getting stuff done so that's it so with the patch and then i'll put this on there as well so hopefully that acts as a bit of a barrier and make just lets it roll a bit easier um but yeah we actually i bought this this blue patches because we actually got a hole in the awning this is um I think it's getting a bit sun damaged and a bit brittle now, so we have a hole here. So I've patched that with that. Show me this side. It hasn't done the best job because of the material difference, but um, it's holding for now. But I think we might need to get a new canvas when we get home. So we're about to pack up and start making our way towards the border, which uh, it's only about 150 kilometres from here. Um, on the way though, we have to stop at the last village before the water, Sari Tash, to exchange our Kyrgyzstan Som to Tajikistan Somoni. Um, just because apparently there's no ATMs on this side of Tajikistan um, yeah, for a while, so we'll just get some converted. Another beautiful day again, it's absolutely lovely. Yeah, feeling good. Are you almost ready to go? Yeah. Cool. Ready to go to Tajikistan? <laughs> Anyways. Better get back to work. Thank you. 
Suritash um, and came to, there's a service station here which does the cash conversion. So I've just went and knocked on his door, but he didn't have any Simoni, so this is a little service station. Um, so yeah, he said that uh, he's going to get the Tajikistan Simoni tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So it looks like we're camping here tonight. Um, but yep, yeah, yeah, I actually just learned a new Russian word, utrom. Utrom? Something. Anyway, that means morning. <laughs> so we're going to go get some lunch now. What are you doing? Trying to find somewhere to stay tonight now. Hopefully uh, the maps are saved from Google so we can scout some possible locations. Don't want to go too far though because we've got to come back in the morning and then hit the roads. Mm. We just ordered for lunch. Chicken. Chicken? <laughs> just chicken. Chicken all around. That's what she said. Looks pretty good. Yeah. It's like a roast. So I think we've got like half a chicken each. Some potatoes, veggies, bread. I think these are two dollars, two dollars each. Yep, and then the bread's usually like fifteen som or something like that, and then the chai maybe fifty. Kim, dig in. So we're heading up the mountain today into Tajikistan, and the guys we met the other day at the campsite, they gave us this formula here, which is um, a diesel additive to prevent gelling of your diesel, which happens. Um, it starts to happen at about negative. Well, zero to negative five, and then the, the fuel starts to actually coagulate um, about negative 15 and under. So, I hadn't put it in when we filled up the other day because I wasn't sure what the temps are going to be, but I just checked the weather report this morning. And um, the pass is at about I think it's 4,200, 300 or something like that. But we will be camping, which is where the problems start when you leave your, your car sitting um, around or over 4,000 for the next week or so. So the temps might get down to around, I think the reports were saying it was about negative 7, but that's without wind chills, so it might get down to negative 10 or so. So I'll just pop this in the sub tank and um, just to make sure we don't have any problems. And by the time we get onto the main tank, we should be back down the other side of Pamir and into warmer temperatures again. So if it does gel, as long as you're back to what the pour point is, it, um, it actually goes, goes back to normal. So. We'll just gauge it by you. If I need to put it into that one, we will do at the time. But this is my little f filling cup. <laughs> a syringe would have been perfect, but this is what I stole out of the medical kit, and it'll do. I just found out that under the lid there's actually a little measuring cup, which makes it easier <laughs> to put into the tank. We ended up coming to a guest house called Mira's Guest House in the town last night. Um, just we thought we'd just come and have a shower and use a Wi-Fi before we sort of go offline for a couple of weeks um, and there was actually a Swiss mother and daughter that were here um, and I just went to pay just for dinner and stuff last night and they she just said that that they'd paid for us so that's really beautiful thank you so much if you're watching this that was um, a really really lovely gesture um, but yeah anyway Mark's just put the roof down so we're gonna get going um, got to go and exchange that money and then we're going to drive up to the pass. I think it's only about an hour drive. So yeah, let's go. Someone in the... You don't have? Well, that was a bit of a flop. They don't have any Tajikistan Simoni, so I guess we're just going to go to the border. We've got some and the lady from the guest house said that we can pay with it with some um, and but hopefully we can exchange it somewhere, maybe with someone coming the other way. They didn't have any. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fun. Cool. Alright, time to go. Customs and immigration formality would ever been through. I think that took like five minutes. Just in and out, stamp, stamp, stamp. Bye. Did <laughs> um, you buy the stickers? The stickers from other overland travellers on the customs locker, uh, uh, there locker box. Yeah, there would have been like hundreds there. Yeah, close to a thousand. I think he knew yeah. exactly what he was doing. Yeah. Anyway, so I think we've got about 20 kilometres till the actual border. 
Um, and then I think the Tajikistan Customs um, building, it's not too far from the border on the other side. Cool. It's actually really beautiful here. That's it for this episode and our introduction to Central Asia and what an introduction it's been. Join us in the next episode where we get stuck into the high altitude and amazing landscape that is the Pamirs. Thanks for watching. See ya.